Hey guys, this is Lightning Bolt here, and welcome back to another episode of Skyblock. This is, um, episode three, and I'm going to be building a mob farm. And I'm not talking about- wait, where am I on the leaderboard? Oh, here, you see, I'm number three. Potato Warrior 64. I should probably change my username. But whatever. Basically, I'm going to be building a mob farm that doesn't require a spawner. Because, you know, um, if you want to have, like, a certain mob, like, I don't know, let's say that you don't want to um, mine a bunch of iron in your cobble gen, um, but you um, really want iron, or you just want to sell it all, then you'd buy an iron golem spawner. But... That's, oh, no, not magma cube spawner. Wait, where is it? Oh, here, yeah. You see, an iron golem spawner is 1,500,000 coins. And even something simpler, like a pig spawner, 300,000. So, let's say that you don't want to um, do that. I'm going to be building a mob farm that can spawn every single mob um, that naturally spawns in the overworld, um, except for endermen, because um, if I have them in a mob farm, I think that they're gonna like teleport into my base, and I don't want to have a bunch of endermen just like walking around my base. Oh, also, one last thing before we get started. I upgraded my upgraded cobble gen even more. Like, um, in episode 2, remember, I made my cobble gen three blocks long, um, but I decided to make it four blocks long, and I also added in the iron bars so that I wouldn't, like, accidentally walk onto the lava and burn myself up. Because, you see, there's, like, no way that I can walk onto the lava now. Now that the iron bars are there. But basically, I made the cobble gen four blocks long, and instead of being just one, um, instead of, um, you being on the same level as the blocks you were mining out, because then you need to mine it like that, and then keep shifting your perspective and whatever, I made it two blocks down so that you can just literally mine straight forward without needing to worry about like um, looking a different direction so that you can mine out the um, different blocks. But also, if you do that, you need to make sure to put a sign right there because the, um, the first time I did it, there wasn't a sign right there and the lava fell onto my face and I needed to hurry over, over here, and then, um, douse myself off so I wasn't burning up. Um, so just make sure to put a sign right there. Because, um, the way that they work is that they technically occupy the same block, so you can't put another block in that space. Like, you see, I can't put this, um, block of wood there. Um, and that means liquids can't flow onto that space. So, yeah. But now, I'm going to be teaching you how to build a mob farm. Let's get to it. Alright guys, I'm back. I just needed to get some stuff. Because, um, um, I don't know if I, um, already told you the materials before, like earlier in the video. But to build a mob farm, you need roughly, um, four and a half stacks of building blocks. But if you don't have enough, it could be three and a half stacks. But um, it's pretty easy to get cobblestone. That's what I'm using as my building blocks. Since, you know, um, it's um, I just told you how to make a, um, a great cobble gen. So if you want a good cobble gen, just go over to my last video, episode two, so that you can get a good cobble gen. And also, um, now you know how to make that upgraded cobble gen even more upgraded, if you know what I mean, because, like, um, you have four blocks here, and then whatever. But basically, 
let's start on the mob farm. In addition to those four and a half stacks, or three and a half stacks if you use slabs for the floor and ceiling of the room where mobs spawn, you also need um, some torches are good um, because you don't want mobs spawning while you're still building it. You know, actually, I think I might um, wait until it's daytime and then start building just so that um, mobs don't need to, I don't need to worry about mobs spawning as much until it becomes night again. But whatever. Basically, it's always good to have torches. Um, and then you also need a chest. That's where all of the, um, you know, that's where all of the mob drops are going to go. Then two hoppers going from the sh um, chute at the bottom where the mobs fall down to the chest um, and also some ladders so that you can like um, go up. Because I'm not going to build a fancy mob grinder or anything for the bottom of my um, mob farm. I'm just going to um, have a chute 23 blocks tall where the, um, you know, where the mobs fall down. Because it's basically going to be a giant room at the very top where the mobs are. And then there's going to be water leading them down into the chute. And they'll fall and then die because um, no mob or person in Minecraft um, can survive a fall from 23 blocks. So, first of all, I think I'm going to build my mob farm um, right here. Uh, so, let me see. I'm going to have, like, um, one block right in front of me is going to be the front edge of the shoe. That block right there is where I'm going to build the front side of the chute. So then the chest, I think, should be right here. Let me mine that out. Then put the chest um, right there. All right, now let me mine this out actually, because the hopper is going to be um, right here. That's, um, and right on top of this hopper is going to be the front side of the chute. Then another hopper right here, and this is going to be like the middle of the chute where the mobs fall down. Then when they die, their drops are going to get sucked into that hopper, which leads it to the chest. Wait, let me just make sure that the hopper leads stuff to the chest. I'll put my sword in here. There. So yeah, they'll go into the chest. Then, let me start building the chute. Let's see, we'll also need to have the side right there. Then the back is going to be right there. And then that's going to be the other side. Now, let me mine this block out. So then, you know, I'm going to put it actually right there. And then all the ladders will go right there. Because as I'm building, um, I'm going to want to, um, like, let me put a torch there. So that mobs can't spawn right now. But basically, as I'm building, I'm going to need to have to get up and down. So that's what the, all the ladders are for. You need um, about 23 ladders so that, um, because you know, the mob farm is going to be 23 blocks tall. Now let me just wait until daytime. You know, actually, I'm going to construct the chute now since that doesn't have like a lot of um, area that the mobs can spawn on. So it'll be pretty easy to put torches on the chute. And remember, as you're building, um, so that you can get down, you want to put ladders um, right there so that um, you can get down. I mean, you could, of course, just like fall down 
but then you die, and you also um, lose experience when you die, since keep inventory is on, so dying doesn't seem that bad, um, but then you um, actually lose experience. But I mean, then again, if keep inventory was off, um, dying still wouldn't be bad, because then you could just, like, go back to your island and grab all your stuff. It's not like regular survival. Let me see, how many blocks have I put down? Let me have the, um, ladders. Now it's one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven. Wow, this is going to take a long time. I'm going to do this off screen just so that I don't bore all you guys. Because, like, you know, I don't want to bore my subscribers. It's like the opposite of being a YouTuber. You do YouTube for entertainment, but then, well, whatever. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I accidentally constructed the chute 24 blocks tall. Um, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, so, now that you, um, now that, um, I've constructed this chute, you need to build a room, um, where the mobs will spawn, and actually, um, you need two buckets of water. Oh, yes, I got down to the ladder. I would have died if I fell that high. So, let's see, where are the buckets? there. Alright. Because basically the way it's gonna work is um, you have like this giant room where all the mobs will spawn, but it's only two blocks tall so that endermen can't spawn, because endermen are three blocks tall. Um, so then, there's going to be, like, water running down this edge toward the chute, and also that edge toward the chute. And that's going to, um, and, you know, that's going to make it, um, so that the mobs will, like, wander around, but then when they fall in the water, They'll, um, have to go down the chute and die. Um, and also, the, um, the room needs to be eight blocks by eight blocks. Because, um, the max amount of distance that water can travel is eight blocks. Like, if you have a water source block going out in all directions, it's going to be, um, eight, it'll, like, flow for eight blocks and then just stop. So I'm going to build the room and then show you guys what I mean. Hey guys, I'm back. I just finished building the mob farm. This is um, what it looks like. Basically, it's only two blocks tall, so endermen can't spawn. And I'm going to put torches on the roof. And once I take all the torches out, mobs are going to spawn here. Um, and then they're just going to, like, wander around, wander around, and then, oh, whoops, they got sucked into the water. The water is going to lead them all the way over to the chute. I'm not going to fall down. No, I'm, I'm not dumb enough to fall down the chute as part of an example. But basically, it's going to let them fall down. So then, they're going to, um, fall down 24 blocks, actually, because I had a mistake when I was counting out how tall the chute needed to be. But it only needs to be 23. And then they're going to die, and then um, whatever they drop will get sucked into the hopper. So now let's take out the torches really quickly so mobs can't spawn and kill us. One. Two. Take that one out. Three. Four. Five. All right, we took all them out now. Um, where's our axe? Destroy that, destroy that. I'm not gonna go back and collect it there. Okay. Luckily, no mobs spawned in on us. Um, there. Let's eat a little. Now, let's put um, torches on the top of this. We'll put a torch there, torch there. 
You know, actually, I'm going to wait until night to do this so that I can actually see which parts of the, um, thing I'm, um, which parts of the, um, the, what do you call it? Um, so that I can see which parts of the mob farm ceiling, um, are dark and need torches. Because I don't want mobs to spawn right on top of the mob farm. Later on, I might, um, actually build this up, make a second room on top, so that, you know... So then, I'll have like double the mob farm, double mob drops, whatever, but not now. Oh, look at how close we are to the clouds. Like a few blocks up and then I could like walk through the cloud. That'd be cool. Um, all right, well, I think it's um, dark enough that most of the um, ceiling of the mob farm is good. And also remember how I was saying earlier that you could use one less stack by making the floor and ceiling slabs? Well, what I meant was that you could make the ceiling slabs on the bottom half, so then you wouldn't need to put torches on the ceiling, and then you could make the floor of the mob farm slabs on the top half so that mobs could still spawn, um, but um, you wouldn't need to use as many resources. Let's see. Ladder right there. I only have one because I used those two ladders for the mob farm. But whatever. Let's go down. Oh no, I fell off the ladder. Well, let's um, cover that up. And I'll um, get some slabs so that spiders can't crawl out. There. Now I'm gonna put a slab right there so that like um, I can still see inside. I don't know. Um, I mean, I don't really need to see inside, but um, it's still better to do that. Or, you know, actually, Endermen could probably spawn right inside the chute. So, I think I'm going to put a torch inside the chute. Because I don't need Bob spawning in the chute anyway. So, um, there it is. For anyone who wants to know how to build a mob farm, that's how. A minute, let me eat so that I'm not just floating around to, um, hearts. And, well, that's pretty much it for this episode of Skyblock. Make sure to um, like the video, of course, if you like it. And subscribe for more. I think that um, I'm going to start changing my upload schedule. Because usually, I mean, well, last week, at least, I posted... Um, a video, like I posted um, a Clash Royale video at the very end of the week, and then uh, my Minecraft video the day after. Or maybe it was the other way around, I don't know. But, I think I'm going to start um, posting one video in the middle of the week, and then the other video at the very end of the week. I haven't decided um, if Minecraft will get uploaded in the middle of the week, or if Clash Royale will. Well, that's it. Bye!